Good Thursday evening, Southeast Texas looks nice the next couple of nights across the area. Low temperatures likely to get in the lower 60s coming up tonight and Saturday morning in the lakes. Mid 60s here in the triangle. Sunday is our pivotal day back to, well, the muggies returning to Southeast Texas. Dry air filtering on into the area over the next few days will make it feel pretty good. Then uh, tropical moisture is slated to move into our area coming up later in the day on Sunday. So that will bring us the potential for rainfall. Maybe too much of a good thing. Right now there is a tropical wave in the uh, in the Western Caribbean, the Yucatan. As you can see, it's disorganized. Quite a bit of shear out there right now. So uh, not expecting this to ramp up very quickly uh, through the next five days. Hurricanes that are giving us a low probability, a 30% chance of development as it heads towards Mexico. However, that's not the issue. This moisture, which is tropical, is slung into Texas and it's not going anywhere. It's going to stick around much of next week. So there is a potential for locally heavy rainfall in our neck of the woods. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is one model showing uh, very, very heavy rainfall uh, across uh, southeast Texas uh, through Wednesday. OK, this will begin Sunday night and go through Wednesday. Another model kind of deflects it a little further down the coastline uh, in towards the central Texas coastline. But we're talking maybe 10 to 12 inches in some spots. So this gives us a uh, pause to uh, to watch this very closely as we head through the first half, at least of next week. So again, several inches here locally are possible. Otherwise, tonight will be a quiet night in southeast Texas, and we're expecting uh, clear to mostly clear skies overnight. Again, lower 60s in the lakes area, mid to upper 60s in the triangle. So it ought to feel real nice tomorrow morning for to begin your Friday. And then tomorrow, uh, looking at lots of sun. Highs will be around 90 degrees, again, with very low humidity. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast tomorrow. We'll see highs or water temperature at 86, high tides, I should say, at 6.01 a.m. at Sabine Pass and 2.26 p.m. Our forecast tonight, mostly clear and cool, lower 60s lakes, mid to upper 60s to near 70 in the Triangle. Then tomorrow about 90 with low humidity. It'll still be hot, but that low humidity really cuts the heat index. Otherwise, lots of sun. So the next couple days just look stunning across southeast Texas. Cool nights, sunny, dry afternoons with low humidity, highs near 90. Again, Sunday is the pivotal day, our transition day. The flip, the switch gets flipped. And Monday and Tuesday could see heavy rainfall across the area. It all depends on where the band's set up. Somewhere along the Texas coast, somebody's going to get some very heavy rainfall, the potential for flooding in some spots. but. Uh, a little too early for that for us right now. Suffice to say that uh, locally heavy rainfall is possible and it could last through much of next week. So um, I'm glad we had this dry weather because we're going to get our share coming up much of next week. But at least that'll cut high temperatures down. And now if it's an all day rain, we may not get out of the uh, 80s or may not get out of the 70s, I should say. So that's the way it looks right now. Hey, download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com. Stay safe. Have a fantastic Thursday night.